Welcome back everyone to GH Plays and today we're back with another video this time for FIFA Simulator and in this video we'll be actually doing each and every single of the highest in the game as of right now. So before we do move on make sure to subscribe and like if you guys have enjoyed and you guys want to see more of this. Comment down below any suggestions you get you guys have and also let me know if you guys want to see uh, the best way to make money in this game because it is pretty hard to make money but obviously because some stuff are kind of expensive so do let me know if you guys want to see that. Join my clone group on my socials and make sure to join the Discord server as well. So, um, yeah, let's actually begin. So, if you guys are wondering what are heist, I'll actually show you guys. If you guys go to shop and then blueprints, obviously you have your zones and then you have the heist as well. So far, there's only four. I know the developers working on another world, like another zone. So, there's going to be another heist in that. So, there's four um, heists and we'll be doing each and every single one of them. Show you guys what they look like, especially the bank and the jewelry store is pretty expensive to get to so the first one actually is betting store and then you have the tech store then you have the jewelry store and then you have the bank so we're going to be going in order so just so you guys know what's what you guys are obviously um in for and also another thing i don't have all i'm not upgraded to the max so obviously you might see if you guys have unlocked your first um heist which is the betting store you guys will know that obviously um what's this thing called you guys need to upgrade some certain stuff to have a like an increased timer. So what that means, if you guys don't know, um, to obviously have longer time in the store that you're stealing from, your stealth needs to be upgraded more, so you have more of a timer. And I'll show you guys what that actually means if you guys don't know. But we're gonna start with the betting store right now. So let's actually break into this and actually do it. If I do go quiet, that means I am trying to concentrate. Especially with the last two because they are pretty difficult. So let's actually go in. So as you guys can see, we have one minute and thirty seconds because my stealth is actually upgraded a bit high. Let's just smack these machines over here. I want to quickly do that and hopefully just get everything. So we're gonna just quickly do. It's gonna. It's pretty easy. It's not too hard. Okay. Get any these games. Normally I do compl I I just always get all these. Um, I do complete the whole store. But I am talking at the same time, so I might die or lose concentration eventually. So there are obviously there is a, a small safe here. I don't go for the paintings because I don't feel like it's worth it. Because just why not? So then you go. The safe does have a certain amount of money, but you know, every little helps. So let's quickly get these. And we have like just over 45 seconds and let's jump over that jump over that so the little traps you see on the floor they actually slow you down and it actually does take an effect if you guys think it doesn't because you could be running low and then if you get caught you are actually just caught and you're stuck in there well you get arrested so let's actually quickly do this so you guys can see where the money is in brackets i have sixteen thousand. Oh, i have one more oh my gosh which one's that Oh, that's that one. So, as you guys can see, we've got 17,000. Everything's done. We're not robbing the paintings, but everything else is done. And all you do is to get the money is literally just leave the store, and then you'll see it adds 17,000. And then also, you can li literally do this for a little bonus money. So, obviously, that's the first one. And let's actually run over to the next one and show you guys the which one was it? The tech store. Yeah, the, we're going to go to the tech store right over here. I think this is in zone two or three. I think it's two. So this is the tech store right here. I, I do kind of struggle in this one because there is so much stuff to steal from. I've never actually completed, got everything because you physically can't un, un, unless you have an infinity backpack if that's in the game. Left that exists or not. What's a hidden stash? Is it that? I don't know. But yeah, there's no way to collect all of it because there's actually quite a lot of items. But let's actually go in and do the tech store as well. So let's go. So there you go. And last one. And there you go. So it's the same thing, same kind of thing. We're going to quickly collect these. I literally collect the closest things by. Obviously, the cer certain items will give you more money. But obviously, because the time is not actually that long for me, I literally just go for these ones over here. Obviously, the rare and epics are kind of like just there. Like, they take longer. But it does work out. I'll show you guys the rest of the store if I can. Hopefully, I can because I don't want to miss out because I have actually died a countless of times or got arrested. So this is the other store, the whole store. You got your laptops, you got some consoles, you got some PCs, headphones, phones, you know, just any everything that a tech shop should have. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna get a little bit of a console, and we have 10 seconds and we're actually gonna make our way out. And a little little tip, so our backpack has 105 now. 
So what we're going to do, we're actually going to run back and go sell. So the little red um, lasers that you see on the ground, if you do hit them, you don't die, but you get spawned at the front of the store and your time, I think, goes down by like 10 or 20 seconds around that. So try your best not to obviously get hit by them because that's actually um, wrong. And it does actually affect you because you can village on 10 seconds if you run the wire, like the little lasers, you lose your time will go to zero and you lose everything. So we're going to actually sell what we've got. We, our backpack we got to 105 out of 250 and let's actually see, got 46,000. It's a decent amount and the way you guys can get more, um, more in your backpack is actually by obviously the stealth and your swiping speed because it will help you out a lot. So let's actually get that. Obviously, I've not upgraded to the max. I will make a video once I've upgraded to the max to show you guys how much it actually costs all together. So yeah. Um, so now the jewelry store right here. It's called the Royal Ice. It's um, what is it called? I don't know what it's called, but I think this is in the zone two, the latest, the last zone. So it's the jewelry one. Let's actually break in. And for this one, you actually need another device. I'll actually show you all the devices you actually need for each heist. Um, once we go over there, but let's actually quickly do this one. Jewelry heist as well, and there you go. We need to do it. Th these are pretty easy, but yeah. So this is a jewelry heist. You guys can see a little radar over here. We're gonna literally go hack this. Hopefully, I can. So we just click P sixteen. You need to wait for the little blue thing. There you go. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. You only have three tries. Hopefully, I don't miss it, because then I will have to do it again, which will be very annoying. Oh, it is difficult on mobile, but. We we normally am I missing or something? There you go. Now we go Z twenty Z sixty four, which is in the middle. Oh, I keep missing. It's so annoying. It is very very difficult, remember, because you have to actually be precise with it. And there you go. So now we have it. We literally break this glass with our little hammer, and then as you can see, diamond. We get twenty thousand. It's rare. So that's actually easy money right there. And then the rest, obviously, you have. This one right here, break the glass. We're going to quickly steal some jewellery. And this is the one I actually have died as well, which is honestly annoying. But hey-ho. So you do have um, two safers, safes at the back, but I I don't think they're worth that much. Like You get like maybe a 1,000, 2,000. I'd rather focus on jewellery. You can, if you have enough time, obviously if your time has increased more, more than mine, you can actually go steal from there if you want, like the, after you complete your whole backpack, like it's all full, whatever. You can go do that, it's completely your choice. So it's 250, or well, 240, yeah, 250. You can't get anything else. You can get the money, but we don't have enough time, and we're going to leave, and there you go. So now, what you need to do is actually go sell it. We're going to do that real quick. We're going to quickly go sell it, and then we're going to continue with the bank one. Uh, yeah, so let's quickly go sell this. Obviously, I don't have the pass to quick sell this, but it's fine. And yeah, I will, I will actually make a, a video on how to get loads of money pretty quickly, and yeah. Let's sell. We have 240. That's how much we actually get from this. We get 131,000, which is actually really good as well. We're already at 300,000. So now we're on the bank heist, which is literally blueprints here. It costs a million. And we're going to quickly go to the bank heist. I am. Um, there are two parts of the bank heist. And. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, there are two parts of the bank heist. The first part is the vault, and the second part is like a the back of the bank i don't really go for the back so i'll actually show you. the vault is over here you see the lasers and then the back of the bank is literally over here let's go right out the windows yeah it's literally over there i don't go there because there's literally a bunch of paintings pcs and laptops it's not really worth it so we're going to go to the left because that's where the real money is so let's actually quickly break this hopefully i can do this as well and uh, there we go so let's go over here and then the vault and we disable the lasers so we need to get T, so it's the last one right here. Oh God. Okay, so we've got that one. Then we get S61, which is there, over there at the beginning. I missed that. Okay. I keep missing and it's so annoying. Okay, so S61. Okay, now we got R60. Oh, we literally just missed that, but it's in the middle. If you guys are struggling to find these, just literally look at the color. So the lasers are disabled. So now we're going to literally run down here, jump over these lasers, and you need a dynamite for this. So this one, when you're putting the dynamite down, do step back because at first, yeah, when I first done it, it literally exploded and I got stuck behind the doors. But yeah, this is literally the vault. You can see so many gold bars. They go for 
16,000 to 64,000, depending on the rarity. I think there might be better ones. So 32,000, that one, 16. We're literally going to rob everything we can. 9,600 is an epic. I don't know the actual, I, don't, I think epic might be the highest. I'm not too sure because I've not seen anything else. And I have been playing this game for a while. We have about 20 seconds before we actually have to leave. Let's see if we can fill up our bag before that time is over. Okay. Okay, we, we don't have any space, but we have to go anyway. So we have nine seconds. Seven. Oh my gosh. Five. And there we go. So we, we've made it. So we have 238 out of 250 in our backpack. So let's see how much we'll get from selling actually all this stuff. Hopefully we get a decent amount. I'll actually tell you at the end, after I've showed you that, where you guys actually need, what kind of equipment you need to buy for each heist. So let's see how much we get. We got 75,000, which is, it's okay, but obviously we don't have the best backpack. We have one more to buy, then we'll obviously get that. So the tools you actually need, the crowbar you guys know, the, the lock pick is for like safes and stuff like that. And the hammer obviously is for the betting, um, the betting story, so you can hammer the, machines and get the money the hacking device is for the jewelry store and the bank as well which is honestly really good as well the dynamite and the thermite is for the bank as well so the bank needs three um the bank needs three the jewelry you need two the hammer and the hacking device and what else is that the tech store you just need um the blueprint and i think that's it yeah and then the bank store you need the hammer so yeah, um, they shouldn't cost too much. They should be pretty easy to get. The blueprints are going to be the hardest ones. Let's quickly claim our quest. The blueprints will be the hardest one, but yeah, that's actually it. Hopefully, the picture is not too long, and hopefully, this like helps you out. See how I do, and maybe you guys can actually, if you guys are struggling, um, do the way I'm doing it. Just obviously be careful, and obviously, I'm on mobile, so it'll be a bit more difficult for me. But I know you guys can do it and yeah uh, make sure to subscribe and like if you guys enjoyed or this video has helped you i will make a video on how to get loads of money pretty soon comment down below how far have you gone in the game what level are you have you unlocked all the blueprints etc stuff like that and yeah i'll see you guys in a later video peace guys